you know, I always like to have the ball in my court because I'm calling the plays. And uh, when it's not in your court, you can't control that. When it's out of your control, you also lose your leverage. Some of the top tips when it comes to negotiating uh, anything, but mostly real estate as well, if you're a buyer, a seller, an investor, an agent, number one is don't ever show them your excitement. So you have to be able to at least give off the impression that you're willing to walk away from the deal, even if you're not. Because if they get that impression, then they don't have the upper hand. You know, when I walk through all these listings, I always ask as many questions as possible. And I listen as much as possible once they start talking. Because the more information that you get in real estate, the more opportunity that somebody is gonna tell you something that is gonna end up being what I call the golden hammer, which is gonna change who has the upper hand and who closes the deal and gets their client a better deal. So if somebody's talking a lot, I'm listening here and I'm listening for one or two things that are gonna either explain the motivation of a seller or the motivation of a buyer, or it's gonna tell me something about that family that's super interesting that may work in our favor. So listening, being able to walk away, and uh, you know, you wanna keep your poker face. Whenever I show a house, I always tell my clients, I say, don't say anything. Just walk around and look at the house. And we actually have code words for my clients. You know, if they, uh, if they like the house, they'll say to me, let's get coffee after this. So if I know that, then I'm gonna slow down the showing and we're really gonna spend more time in the property looking at the finishes and really picking the brain of the agent showing that property. I also tell my clients all the time, listen, if you don't like the house, let's not waste the time. Go in, go out, no one, no one cares. 